What up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. And today, we will be reviewing Blue Star's Prophecy. This one's probably gonna be 50 or more minutes. It's longer. It's what the same. It's the exact same length as Tall Star's Revenge. So, and I'm gonna try to get this one out before I have to leave for vacation. Cause I'm gonna be leaving for a week, I'm leaving this Thursday. So, I wanna try to get at least three videos out. Blue Stars Prophecy, Spotted Leaf's Heart, and possibly The Rise of Scourge, and also Gogeta, since I bought the um, Fire's Pass will be coming out. So I'm gonna be doing two videos on Gogeta. One, seeing how he plays and my reaction, and then me using him in uh, a team, replacing my Vegito. The first, spamming those capsules. Cause, me want them. Me want capsules. But that's, that's, that's my point. Alright, starting with the prologue, we see Blue Star watching Fireheart. Um, with the dogs, you know, she does what she does in, I think it is the Rising Storm, tackles them down. Um, we do get to see her perspective from it. Oakheart calls her from Star Clan and guides her so she can swim. Fireheart and I think it's Storm Pelt to help her get up. She asks for their forgiveness, seeing as Blue Star is Storm for Storm Furs and Misty Foot's biological mother. Um, they end up forgiving her and she dies. Then. We go on the, the uh, chapter one. Um, it starts out with them being concerned that Blue Kit hasn't opened her eyes. But Blue Kit says to Snow Kit after Snow Kit says, I want you to when you're asked if we can go out and play. Blue Kit says, I'll do it on my own time. The next day, Blue Kit opens her eyes. Um, Blue Kit, Snow Kit go out exploring. They get in some trouble with um, Storm Pelt. Sorry, s s s um, Stone Pelt. Stormtail, which is their father, and their mother's moon f moonflower, kind of is distant. And I don't know, that's odd, just because of all the other previous books of them actually having a role in parenting. By that, I mean Grey Wing. We saw no other ones, no other good ones. I'm <laughs> the sky. To a point! Um... But, you know, she goes out exploring as a kit, and then, um, Sunfall brings her out for uh, some parts of the territory to be shown. Um, then they learn that Wind Clan might be stealing prey from them, so, um, Pine Star, so this, so Blue Kid is born when Pine Star is still in leadership, as you saw from Pine Star's choice, with, when Moonflower dies is when Blue Paw is a paw, of course. But they become Snowpaw and Blue Paw. We do know that b before that, um, Thorn Kit, Sweet Kit, and Rose Kit are born. Blue Paw and Snowpaw's den mates. We do know that Blue Paw and Snowpaw are siblings, of course. And then they're leaving for a gathering. And so far, that's all I have. I'll meet you guys when I finish chapter six to chapter. F I'm gonna stream through this book so I can get it up by tonight. See you guys. Goodbye. What a welcome back for my review of Blue Star Supremacy. Again, splitting it up by five chapters. We got chapter six to ten of Blue Star Supremacy. Let's get into this, make sure this is over. Or under 50 minutes. I'm gonna try. I was able to do it with um CSP. Crooked Stars promise. I'm gonna try to do it with Blue Stars Privacy. But I feel like I'm gonna fail like you've been talking, so let's just get straight to the chase. Alright. We see the part from um Goosefeather's curse 
and I think it was even in Planster's Choice. Let me know down in the comments below. But um, we see the Battle of Wind Clan. A leopard paw gets injured. She gets taken out of the battle. Blue paw sees Moonflower's death, and she's heartbroken by it. And just before the battle, they're hanging out and stuff. Blue paws talk them. Was trying not to talk about the gathering with Snow paw and such. So, quite sad, honestly. But that's besides my point! Here we go! We got all this other crap to do. Um, we do see that she is bitter. Um, we do know that Patch Paw and Leopard Paw do become warriors to Leopard Foot and Patch Pelt. Already, already setting up for Into the Wild, which I'm not gonna be reviewing again. I'm just gonna post it to the uh, thing. To the playlist once it's finished or once I actually finish reading it again so it gives me something to do but uh, but obviously I won't be in a hurry to finish it but again getting sidetracked I don't want this to be 15 I don't want this to be an hour I'm trying to avoid that Ow. but anyhow as we continue um, really, Blue Paw just, she's really angry, lashes out a lot, um, she doesn't have Snow, um, Storm, st uh, st Stone Pelt as apprentice, as a mentor, it's now Sunfall, the deputy of Thunder Clan, and they have a nice heart to heart, and then Blue Paw goes back to camp. Um, so far, that's all. See you guys for chapter 11 to 15. Bye bye. Alright. Where were we? Ah, yes. I remember now. Alright, who's up next? This is when I fight. Ultra Big Bang! Outstanding! Um. Once again. Um, it's more apprentice training, yada yada yada. Um, and such with Sunfall. Um, we do know um, Golden Paw or Golden Kit and Lion Kit are now Golden Paw and Lion Paw. So again, setting up for more of the Fox's Begin art. With obviously Lionheart being Lionheart and obviously Golden Power being Golden Flower, which we know plays a big part, but we aren't even in that part, so I'm not gonna spoil anything. And for obvious reasons, we don't spoil anything. But that, that, that's not the point. Um, Blue Pod does notice that um, Snow Paw and um, Crystal Paw are getting quite close with one another, and she doesn't like it. She thinks Crystal Claw is an arrogant jackass, which I am inclined to believe. Like, geez. I don't like the supplies. So Probably the puck does not help his case. And it, it never will help his case. But this, this does, this does piss off, um, um, Snowpaw. So they don't talk for a while. And the only thing they do, is after a moon but even before that moon blue paw uh we see this in crooked star's promise but from crooked paw's per perspective the fight whoops uh, the fight over sunny rocks 
blue paw, but this time in blue supremacy, we see it through blue paw's perspective. And we see how blue paw and snow paw overwhelm, crooked paw and river clan's forced to retreat, giving sunning rocks to thunder clan. But then after that moon, um. Um, Blue Paw and Snow Paw end up going on hunting patrol, and they get they try to go for a rabbit, but a fox catches them. They run back to camp. Blue Paw fights, or goes to slash for the dog, but a burning branch appears, lit on fire. It's an omen by Star Clan. Um, and when Goosefeather brings her to the medicine den, um, Goosefeather tells Blue Paw that she will blaze through the horse like fire, but to beware, because even the strongest of flames can be destroyed by fire. I mean, water. Symbolizing her drowning against the dogs. This is going to hurt! In, in a Vagus Berman, as we see in the prologue of Blue Star's prophecy. And her even stating it in the prologue. But even before that, um, there was a gathering before all this happened, and everybody was treating Thunder Clan, or everybody previous was treating Thunder Clan like crap because of their attack on Wind Clan's medicine den. And Blue Paw even mentions she doesn't like heart, heart, heart. But that's pretty much all we've gone through. So I'm gonna fin I'm gonna read chapter 16 to 20. See you guys once I do. Bye bye. What already welcome back again for another review of Blue Star's Prophecy chapter. 16 to chapter 20 and a lot of important foreshadowing has happened in these last chapters per obvious um literally in the next chapter as soon as you start off again chapter 16 blue paw is made into a warrior in blue fur and snow paw is made into a warrior snow fur and we don't really see them do much hunting it's more talking within the clan and such um she goes to another gathering this um and we get to see her meet crooked jaw from her perspective not from a crooked jaw's perspective um, Pine Star covers up obviously that the kitty pets are in his territory because his buddy buddies with them. Um, Blue Fur gets pissed at everybody for for Pine Star changing it when they were talking about how kitty cats were invading because Pine Star made it about River Cran trespassing, which made all the other clans fight, and Star Clan almost ended the meeting before Heather Star told everybody to get their act together and. And, um, that, um, Star Clan would not be happy because they were beginning to mate to cloud the sky. Um, as we go back, there's more talking within the clan. Um, she does get taken to the Moonstone, and she has a vision of her. Drowning in water again, Goose Feather's prophecy, and her in foreshadowing her death in Rising Storm. Then there's even then when she goes back and sleeps again, she has the a dream again. Um, they do, um. Leopardfoot does have her kits. Again, foreshadowing. Because uh, when Blue Fur, Rose Paw, and Sweet Paw all have a diseased mouse or something, 
I get, I'm pretty sure it's like cat diarrhea, basically. And when she goes to Goose Feather to treat it, Goose Feather's eyes are wild, and he's they, he's like there's been too many omens of evil. Foreshadowing tiger kits. Foreshadowing Hitler-esque evil stuff when he becomes eventually Tiger Star. Um, and you know, she kind of runs away from Goose Feather after getting treated. She uh, hangs out with Sweet Paw and Rose Paw. Sweet Paw isn't looking too good. Um, on her way out, before meeting, on her way out to the dirt place, she does find Lion Paw going out, and she thought maybe Pine Star was hanging out with him. But this is around the part where Pine Star, at least in Pine Star's choice, chooses to be a kitty pet. And we're gonna see this through Boo Fur's perspective when it happens next chapter. So we're gonna, so I'm gonna finish chapter 21 to 25, and then we're done. But anyways, this has been um, this has been partially my review of Blue Stars Prophecies certain chapters. All right, see so you guys when I'm done. All right, we're back for Blue Stars Prophecy review. I might be able to get it done by this afternoon. And Spotted Leaf's heart done. Maybe the Rise of Scourge, possibly Red Tail's death. I'm not counting on it though. So when I get back, I'm really gonna have to review those really fast. Hopefully, the Rise of Scourge isn't. 100 chapters or something like that <laughs> but anyways that there's more hunting to do more stuff around the clan that blue fur does um we do see her uh, they get into a fight with river clan um blue fur and snow fur double team um ripple claw they ended up winning but they've been doing this because Pinestar let them have, um, Sunny Rocks. T um, Bluefur's suspicion of Pinestar goes away until he doesn't show up for the battle, then she's all suspicious of him again. Um, now we get to see Pinestar denounce his apartheid from Blue Star's point of, or from Bluefur's point of view. And... That's what he does. Um, that Sunstar becomes leader, um, Tawny Spots becomes Lee, um, a uh, deputy, um, Snowfur has had kits, or has kits with, um, Thornclaw, well, has a kit, white kit, which will be White Storm, so we can, all the, pretty sure the new kits are gonna be, Who we see, maybe possibly Red Tail's death and Spotted Leaf's heart, and obviously for the prophecies begin the arc. Um, Reverend Pelt has more kits, Brindle kit, and Frost kit. Tiger Kit is almost an apprentice. They end up going to Goose Feather's medicine den, and Goose Feather calls Tiger Kit a nightmare because of the nightmares Star Clan's been giving him and such. So Blue Fur tells um, Feather Whisker that he's giving the kids nightmares, and that's really where this ends off at. So see you when I end up finishing chapter 26 to 30. Uh, Blue Star Trapsy, and goodbye. All right. Let's go back to reviewing. So, um, Bluefur been hanging out with, um, Snowfur and White Kit. Obvious. Um, there's been, there's been more show around the camp and such. Um, Blue Fur does go out to go hunting or goes out alone for a little bit and meets Oak Heart. And this is the first part we have of their relationship. Um, and Blue Fur chases him out, then gets Snow Fur to come of her for a walk because White Kit was harassing her with her tail. 
um, and they run into a shadow patrol, a shadow clan patrol. After Reaper makes um, Snow for mad after saying that she didn't want to have kits, she didn't mean it in a bad way, but um, Snow for runs away. Then they fight with Shadow Clan, and she gets run over by a by a monster, killing her. And Blue Fur can't believe it, and she stays in a depressive state for months on end, until Tawny Spots tells her to get her act together. She goes to the gathering, has words of Oak Heart of anger, and. Yeah, then she finally has a nightmare of Sn um, Snowfur asking Blue Kit, uh, asking Blue Fur to take care of White Kit. As they both drown, she saves White Kit. She wakes up and realizes that um, the warrior's den is leaking. So she runs into the nursery screaming White Kit's name. White Kit wakes up and says, "What are you doing?" Then she falls asleep with him she white kit wakes up and says i had a dream of you hanging out with me she hangs out with white kit for a little bit then pistol claw comes in and is very angry at blue star i mean blue fur and ends up being like oh wow she doesn't like her because before they had a fight with pistol claw accused blue fur of being the reason why um, why obviously that, um, is dead. And she kind of just think nah. Then they got on a hunting patrol together, and Blue Fur doesn't see why Thistle Claw wants to attack the kitty pets when they've done nothing. Every day. Even, you know, entered into the territory. So then Thistle Claw tells Boofer to stay out of White Kit's life, or else he'll, he'll make her. And that is it. We're almost near the end of Blue Star's prophecy. So I'm gonna finish off chapter 35 to 40 and then come back to you guys once I'm done. And we're probably gonna have enough time to do Squad Elise Heart. Finally. Just see you guys once we're done. Goodbye. <coughs> Alright, we're back. Chapters 31 to 35 of Blue Star Privacy. Let's get it on. We're so close. Only 10 more chapters. And on the start to lose heart. Which is only, I think, 10 chapters. So I should be able to get through that. We're in an hour. Then we saw the, the, the eyes of Scourge. Which should be interesting. Alright. So. Obviously, as we know. Last time, Thor and Claw friend Blue Fur was staying away from White Kit. She doesn't listen, she hangs out with White Kit. Um, life goes on, we see her do some more clan stuff with inside of Thunder Clan. Um, Goose Feather makes a prophecy and tells Blue Fur to keep White Kit away from Thornclaw. Tiger Kit becomes Tiger Paw and is apprenticed to Thornclaw. Um, 
They go on a, a patrol together. Bloofer, Thornclaw, and Tigerpaw. And Tigerpaw attacks Tiny, or in this case, Tiny before he was known as Scourge. Already setting up for the rise of Scourge and the other parts of the prophecy. Bluefur stops Tiger Paw from killing Tiny, and they go back. Um, Thornclaw, though, before Tiger Paw finds the, goes back to smell the scent of Tiny. Thornclaw tells Bluefur to screw off, stay out of White Kit's life, or else he'll make her pay. And Bluefur gets aggressive and says, "Well, you can't do that. I'm his kin." And you know, Thorncall brings up on how she was never there for White Kit, but now she is. Um, she hangs out more with White Kit, um, Spotted Kit, Willow Kit, and Red Kit are born. So Red Tail, Spotted Leaf, and I think Willow Tail. <coughs> Once again, foreshadowing the events of the B of the new of the of the prophecies begin. And Spotted Leaf's heart and Red Tail's death. Um, definitely, as you can see, uh, they can they continue. Um, they go to River Clan. We see this part from um, Crooked Star's Promise when Crooked Star is a apprentice, uh, but we oh, I, I I mean deputy, and we get it from Blue Fur's perspective this time. They tell Hail Hailstar that um you know they they're gonna take Sunning Rocks back and they'll shred whatever cat comes their way. <laughs> um, and River Clint says we'll fight for them. Um, on the way back, Oakheart talks to Bluefur and asks to see her at Moon High at Four Trees. She agrees. She doesn't get to go on the patrol to Sunning Rocks because she faked a injury. And then we see her go to Four Trees, but um, Snowfur's scent is on Bluefur, and she wonders if this is a warning or a blessing. Uh, we don't know yet, and we don't even know if Oakheart showed up because Thunderclan was having a nice little party until midnight, or sometime after midnight. Now, I gotta finish chapter 35 to 40 of Blue Shows Prophecy, and I'll see you guys when I'm done. Goodbye for now. We're back. Only five more chapters go. It only took me almost half of the entire day, so hopefully we can just run through Spotted Leaf's heart. It's only ten chapters, so it can only take me like an hour. At most, an hour. And then I'm going to see how long the Rise of Scourge is, and then see what I'm going to do for that. Uh, oof! Okay, anyways, let's continue. Um, Bluefur meets up with, with Oakheart, you know, they have the, um, play around, they eventually fall asleep and mate. Um, a couple of months have passed, Bluefur is pregnant, and, um, a leopard foot n Make, tell, is it, tells Bluefur, make sure Bluefur is aware of this, because she wasn't. Um, then she ends up, after a bit, she tells Oakheart, um, Fisher Claw almost killed Oakheart, but Bluefur defended him. Um, Sunstar mentioned to Bluefur that I hope that you would become Bluestar, but looks like not, and he, he then said, maybe someone else can follow in my footsteps, which would be Fissile, Fissile Claw. So, after having a talk with Bluefur, and, I, I mean, after Bluefur has a talk with Goosefeather, she says, you know what, I can stay real to my clan and be the fire and have my kids, but, oh, but Goosefeather says, no, you can't. They'll be drowned in Fissile Claw's blood-stained wars. So then, after he's talking with Feather Whisker, after she's kitted, naming them Moss Kit, Misty Kit, and Stone Kit, two of them would grow up to be Stone Fur and Misty Star. 
once again, there's more characters for the Proxies Begin arc. So obviously, after seeing a vision of what we can assume to be Crystal Star and him having blood all over him, she goes to the gathering and tells Oak Heart that tomorrow he's, he, she's going to take them to Four Trees and Oak Heart can take them into River Clan and no, oh crap, just not fight this because you know what, I'll trade Thunder Clan if I need to, but she sacrifices her happiness for her clan's happiness. So far that's, that's been the only thing that's going on. See you guys for when I finish those five chapters, the rest of the, the rest. And goodbye. What up? Welcome back. Uh, I should have finished Blue Supremacy a long time ago, and should have already gotten Spider Leaf's heart out of the way, and probably would have been on my first path of completing the Rise of Scourge. But my thing that I used to read the books on shows, and it's only now I'm getting to record the last bit of Blue Supremacy, chapter 41 to 40. Five, and then I'm gonna bleed through Spotted Leaves Heart. Ten chapters. I'm gonna have to go all the way through with it. No stopping. This is ten chapters. I can recap what happens. But um, once again, Tiger Claws become a warrior, or Tiger Paw to become a warrior. Tiger Claw, uh, you know, Red Tail and such. Also, we we all we now have Golden Flower and such a, a lot of stuff happened a lot of clan stuff she gave up moss kit and storm kit and i mean storm stone kit and misty kit um she becomes deputy sun we have a time skip since uh, sunstar dies she becomes a blue star um you see everybody give her nine lives, basically. Everybody you see in the book has given her nine lives, basically. Mumblefoot, Moonflower, Moss Kit, Snowfur, um... But then we have another time skip. This is, this is after the pro- this is actually in the prologue of Into the Wild, half of it. We get to see what happened after they got defeated in Sunny Rocks. And Blue Star talking to Red Tail and such about, you know, her saying that she has four lives left. Um, Spotted Leaf is the medicine cat. And, you know, she gets the prophecy. Um, fire alone can save the clan. Talking about Fire Star and how he would save everybody from Tiger Star Claw. And such. Um, I do think it is uh I do think it's it's interesting how Blue Star and White Storm are talking, and they actually see Firepaw, or I guess at this point Rusty, trying to attack a bird, and she tells Graypaw to stalk him for a little bit. But he's saying that, and Spotted Leaf says that he'll pass every single test that Blue Star throws at him. Which means Firestar is always destined to be part of Thunder Clan and be part of the five clans. And then it kind of ends with Blue Star saying, Well, Goose Brother, you were right. A fire will blaze through the forest. Oh no, I thought it was a good book. Um I wasn't that excited when it was like Blue Kid or Blue Paw and such. But, like, really, her losing her kids was heartbreaking. I feel really bad for Blue Star. She's one of my favorite characters in the series. That's off of the three books that I, um... Read. And just, it really, um... 
put it into perspective, I just really like Blue Star as a character. So finally getting to read her Super Edition was really fun. Because ever since I heard about her Super Edition, I really, really wanted to read it, but I never, ever knew when I would be reading it. Because I didn't have the timeline all sorted out and such. But now, we all, we obviously do. See you guys for when I review Blue, um, I just said Blue, Blue Leaf's Prophecy, Spotted Leaf's Heart. I know, no, that one's gonna be a doozy. Anyways, goodbye for now.